Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I go to school in Tucson. And today, we're going to be improving our pronunciation using news articles online. So, if you look below at the class description, you'll see two links. One that says, the egg box that updates a humble yet classic design. And the second link, Yahoo spends millions on UK teen Nick Delasso's De Sumly app. Those are the two articles that we're going to focus on today. So in this class, you'll be learning new vocabulary, you'll be learning new expressions, and most importantly, you'll be improving your pronunciation. So if you're wondering how to guarantee yourself a spot in this class, then what you're going to want are reservations. So I'm going to show you how to get those. So if you look up here at Get Reservations, click on that, you'll be brought to this page which shows a few ways to get class reservations. Now the easiest way is to invite your friends. If you click on Invite Friends, it'll bring you to this page. And here you have your, your own special link. Now you can send this to your email contacts, you can share it on Facebook or on Twitter, and anytime somebody signs up through it, you'll receive one free reservation, which will be displayed right here. Then, when you find a class that you want, so let's see... Um, I don't know, this one, which starts in two hours with Eric, you click reserve a seat, bam, you have a, you have a reservation for this class. That's it. Um, so that's how that works. Um, also, um, just in case you guys didn't know, the friends design has been re redone, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, looks like we have somebody. Hello. <gasps> Firana, are you there, Pablo? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Right. Good, good, good. Okay. So some people should be joining right now. And then in about 10, 15 seconds, we'll get started. Okay, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here. So there's one spot left. Um, so, um, welcome everybody. My name's Joe, and today we're going to be improving our pronunciation using news articles online. So, um, give me one sec. Um, I'm posting the link to a video to help somebody out. Um, there we go. Okay. So I think we have a full, a full class today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, um, First thing we're going to do is have you guys introduce yourselves by saying your name, country, and your favorite type of cookie. So I'll go first. My name's Joe. I'm from the United States. And my favorite type of cookie is probably Snickerdoodle, which is, I just wrote it in the chat if you don't know what that is. Um, so first... We'll start with Angel. Angel Garcia, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Hello, hello. Can you, uh, can you introduce yourself by saying your name, country, um, as in where you're from, and favorite type of cookie? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm Miguel, and yeah. I'm from Colombia, and my favorite kind of cookie is one that has a spoon of chocolate. It has has what? Chocolate chips? Yeah. Chocolate chips. Okay. All right. Chocolate chips are delicious. Or chocolate chip cookies are delicious. Okay. Um. Next we have Camilo. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Camilo. I am from Nicaragua. My favorite food is not your request. Your favorite type of cookie? I don't know what does it mean. <laughs> Here, I'll write it. Cookie. Like, um... I'll show a cookie, picture. Cook, ah, cook. Yes. Cookie is uh, when it, it has chocolate and cream, I think. The, the word cookie, um, there are different types of cookies. This is a snickerdoodle cookie. Um, you also have uh, sugar cookie, which looks like this. You also have um, molasses cookie. Um, which look like look they look like that. Uh, chocolate chip are the most common, I think. Just like that. So there are all these different types. Camilo, are you still there? Can you guys hear me? It sounds like all of the sound disappeared. We can hear you. Okay, okay. Is Camilo there? Okay, maybe his connect maybe yeah, he's yes, I am. Okay. Camilo, okay. So now do you understand what cookies are? I know what is cookies because you can't find what cookies but I'm into it. But what? Oh, what well, cookies no. <laughs> no, 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 not web cookies, just cookies <laughs> as in like the food. <laughs> Camilo, Camilo, it sounds like yeah, you're yeah, Are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So what did what did you say your favorite type of cookie is? No, no, Oreo. Oreo, Oreo, okay, okay. <laughs> Oreo cookies are delicious. All right, cool. Next we have Esther. Yes. Hello? Yes? Can you introduce yourself, please? Oh, yes. Uh, my name is Esther. I'm from Spain. And my favorite cookie is uh, chocolate chips cookie. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay. All right. Welcome. Um, next we have Lee Seth. Yes. Uh, my name is Oscar, and I am from Costa Rica. And this is my second time of um, Berkeley. And my favorite type of cookie is sponge. Is sponge? Yes, sponge. Sponge cookies. Okay. I've never heard of those. What are those like? I don't know. They're delicious. Huh. Okay. All right. Sponge cookies. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay. Next we have Luisa. Yes. Hi. My name is Luisa. I'm from Colombia. <coughs> my favorite type of cooking is French fries. <coughs> Your favorite type of cookie is what? French fries. French fries. I don't know if I don't think French wait like like McDonald's French fries. No, <laughs> like a potatoes. French fries. I like. wait. Like yes. wait. Can you explain? Yes. Can you explain a little? 
um, the potatoes. You okay. Know? Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I think it's because in um, Spanish and English, the words are. Different. Hold on, I'm going to plug in my computer because it says that it's about to die. Um, give me one sec. Uh, that word in Spanish is different, all different. Yeah, because I think, because cookies are things that are. Ah, okay, cookies. Cookies, uh, not, yes, not <laughs> chips. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, Oreo. Oreo, okay, all right, good, and good, Milo. good. And Milo, ah, uh, Milos are good too. Okay. Mm, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Just a little bit of a misunderstanding, but that's fine. Um, okay. Next we have Oitun. Yes. Hello. Hello. I am from Turkey. Uh, my favorite <laughs> cookies is. Uh, apple cookies. Apple cookies. Okay. Apple. I don't think I've had apple cookies. Are I'm guessing they taste like apples. Are they? Um, huh. Okay. Cool. That's that's really cool. I've never I've never heard of those. Okay. Um, next we have Pablo. Hello. Well, my name is Pablo. I'm from Argentina, and my favorite cookies are um, chocolate cook, uh, chocolate chips cooks, cookies, and alfajor. Also, it's a biscuit that we eat in Argentina. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Cool. Um, Rodrigo. Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm Hello. Rodrigo. I'm from Brazil. And my favorite cookies are Christmas cookies. <laughs> Christmas cookies. I love Christmas cookies are the best, especially. I think, I, I yeah. think everybody loves Christmas cookies. <laughs> yes, Christmas cookies are the best. Okay. Um, and last we have Givanildo. Givanildo? Hello. Hello? I'm Givanildo. I'm from Brazil. And my favorite cook is strawberry cookie. Strawberry cookies. Okay. All right. Strawberry cookies. Those are good. I don't think um, I haven't had those in a while, but strawberry cookies are really good. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I think that's it for everybody for introducing yourself, um, yourselves. So, uh, welcome everybody. Like I said, this class is going to focus on pronunciation. So, um, what we're going to be doing is taking turns reading different sections from the two articles that I posted. And if you didn't see them, don't worry. Um, I'll provide them again so that you can open them up in your screen. And what we're going to be doing is reading the articles, looking for new vocabulary, new expressions, and then just trying to improve your guys' pronunciations. Because sometimes we learn how to pronounce something, pronounce a word incorrectly, and we don't know that we're pronouncing it incorrectly until somebody says, oh, hey, this is how you pronounce it. So that's what I'm going to try and do today, help you guys fix that. So one thing before we get into the articles, um, I noticed a lot of you guys said cooks, but the, the word is spelled like this and it's pronounced cookies. So I noticed that um, I think the two guys from Brazil, G. Van, G. Vanildo and Rodrigo, I think you guys both said cooks and somebody else might have said it. Um, but just remember that it's cookies. Cookies. There you go. Perfect. Cookies. There you go. Perf both of you said it perfectly. And if it's singular, it's just cookie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So that's the way we're going to be doing this. Um, you guys are going to read a section, and then the rest of us, when, when one person is reading, everybody else is going to be listening to see if, oh, okay, do they pronounce everything correctly? And if there's something that they can improve on, meaning they can improve their pronunciation on, then we're going to say, oh, hey, can you repeat this word, or can you repeat that word? 
and then if they're pronouncing it incorrectly, we're going to help them pronounce it correctly so that they can improve their accent and improve their overall pronunciation. So um, the first article that we'll start with is this one, uh, the one about the egg carton. So I'm going to pull it up on my screen as well, just in case you don't, um, you'd, you'd rather just look at the, the Google Hangout. Um, but I posted it in the Verbling chat over there. And I'll post it in the Google chat. So open that up if you'd like. If not, um, just follow along on my screen. And we will get started. Does anybody have any questions before we get started? No. OK. Perfect. So I'm going to zoom in. So can you guys see this? Yes. The article. OK. Yeah. So yeah. this this good. OK. So this article is called The Egg Box That Updates a Humble Yet Classic Design. So here's a picture or a visual to help you guys kind of guess um, what the article is about before you read it, before we read it. So it's talking about a new design for the egg carton. So this thing that holds the eggs, this um, styrofoam, this white thing, is called an egg carton. Egg carton. And so carton is spelled like this. Carton. Just like that. Just in case you're wondering. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so who would like to volunteer and read the first two sections? This part and this part. Me, may I? Yes, of course. Xbox Rethink. Eva, that's a, ro a Rosh name. Eva Balichek designed her sentiments for the current X cartoon as part of her course starting package design at the University of West Hungary. Hungary. Cardboard and rubber. Valishik designed as a way with the amounted paper pulp in favor of cardboard with the structure giving a strength with the help of rubber band. bands. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hold on one sec? Where, where are you exactly? <laughs> can, can you start where it says it is? <laughs> sorry, I didn't. I was trying to figure out where you were. <laughs> Um, I know when says uh, egg box thing and the other one is carbon and rubber. <laughs> the okay. first and the second section. Okay, wait. Uh, but you are another, <laughs> another part. I see. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I think we're on the we're, we're on different sections. Okay, <laughs> did you already read? Did you read this part? It is just over one hundred years. Do you see that part? In it is just over one hundred years. Yeah, yes. but you. Yeah. Okay. Can you? It is just over. Yeah. Yes, we. I am seeing your document. Okay. okay. It is just over one hundred years since Canadians invent, invent Joseph Coyle perfected a design to prevent eggs breaking up their way to market. His design was the first egg carton. Offering a measure of protection for this most breakable of commodities. Commodities. Coilless cardboard creation was first made by hand before a machine was invented to man manufacture. Then after World War One. Perfect. Okay, can you stop right there? Was that Camilo reading? Or who who is reading? It was me, Camilo. <laughs> Camilo, okay, okay. Um, so Camilo, okay. Thank you for reading, Camilo. So, what are some words that we can help Camilo improve his pronunciation on? So, what are some words that maybe he could improve on? Any ideas? So, 
So this word machine, can you say that one more time, Camilo? Machine. There you go, machine. Machine. So after I say these words, if anybody else would like to repeat them, just feel free to repeat it after me. Machine. Machine. <coughs> machine. Machine. So it's not machine, it's machine. machine. There you go, machine. 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 Okay. Machine. It sounds machine. like... There you go. Okay, it sounds like everybody pronounced that correctly. Um, machine. Yes. M machine? And, yeah, machine is right. The um, word... The word... Manufacture? The other word... Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Manufactory. Okay, so this is... So, look at it. So, look at the word. It's pronounced like this. So, repeat it after me. Manufacture. 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 Good, okay. Manufacture. No, no, no. Not manufacture, just manufacture. Manufacture. There you go. Okay, so one more time. Wait, hold on one second. Um, Anhil, do you happen to have headphones? What? Do you have headphones? Mm, no, I yes. Eh, uh, tengo. I have a uh, earbuds. You have what? Earphones. Headphones, oh, headphones, headphones, okay, okay. Okay, just because um, it sounds like there's a lot of conversation going on wherever you are, and it's, it's um, being, your microphone is picking it up. Okay, it's good now, never mind. Um, okay. okay. So, um, so just, if this word is hard for you, just look at my lips and my mouth and the shapes that it makes when I pronounce this word. Manufacture. So, manufacture. Yeah. So if that helps to say it slower in the syllables, then do that. So one more time, repeat this word after me. Manufacture. Manufacture. Just like that, exactly. And then speed it up. Manufacture. Perfect, just like that. Manufacture. Manufacture. So you'll start to pick up patterns. Once you, you pronounce words um, and you, you look at how they're written, then you can say, oh, okay, so when it's a T-U-R-E, then it's a sure. Manufacture. Stuff like that. Like the word um, mature. It has the T-U-R-E. So notice how the T-U-R-E makes the sure sound. So mature. So it's kind of like... Um, it's you, you can pick up patterns like that. Okay. So I think that was it. This other word um, Camilo stopped at because it's a difficult word. Now repeat this word after me. Commodities. Commodities. Good. Commodities. Okay. Does everybody know what that word means? No. Yes, like amenities. Yeah, like amenities. Exactly. We're, I'm gonna double um, see how I can describe it best for you guys. So a commodity, um, something of use, um, advantage or value, a quantity of goods, an article of trade or commerce. Um, let's see. A commodity. I'm trying to think of how to best use it in a sentence. So let's see how the article is. Uh, his design was the first egg carton, offering a measure of protection for this most breakable of commodities. So here, the eggs are kind of like a trade, which is how the definition describes it. Um, an article of trade. So eggs, it's a product. Eggs um, are a product that you might trade, that you might sell. So 
it's a commodity. Um, so, for example, you could use it with um, T-shirts. Those are that could be like a um, a box of T-shirts could be an article of trade, something that you sell. So maybe for ex for instance, I need to sell this commodity to this business to earn money for my family or something like that. Um, so does does that make sense? Does that definition make sense? Commodity. Commodity. Does, does that make sense? I'm going to see if I can find commodity. Okay. Um, let's see. Is not commodity something that makes you feel comfort? No, no. Close. You would think so, but no. Um, Iraq has been under compre. No. Um, here. In the U.S., schooling is a six hundred and fifty billion market marketable commodity to be traded for profit. So kind of defines it in that sentence, because at the end it says to be traded for profit. So schooling is a six hundred and fifty billion marketable commodity to be traded for a profit. So the 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 schooling is an article of trade or something that can be traded, something that can be valued, something that has use. Um, I like a product. Yeah, like a product, exactly. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, I have commodities in my store. Exactly. Correct? Correct. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I think that was it. So we'll move on. Um, so would somebody else like to read right here where it says later in the 1950s? Me. All right. Start? Yes. Later in the 1950s? Later in the 1950s, uh, British designer H.G. Burnett created the design we see on supermarket shelves and in corner stores, made of cardboards, molded, molded papers, pulp or plastic, and with an individual space for each egg to sit. As food pack packaging has become more sophisticated from aseptic linings in cartoons of milk to vacuum, packet fish, the humble egg cartoon has changing a little. Uh, shock absorbing and cheap to produce. The cartoon has also become a signifier for what it contains. You don't need to see the X to know what it contains. Good. All right. Thank you for reading. What were some words that she can improve on, if any? What do you guys think? Design. Okay, so let's say that word together. Design. 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 Good. Design. Oh. Okay. Any other words? Cardboard. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Cardboard. 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 Which one? This word right here. I'll highlight it. Made of cardboard. 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 Perfect. Cardboard. Okay. Um, what, what's cardboard? What's cardboard? I'm going to pull up a picture. So if I type in cardboard box, for example, this is cardboard. It's a type of material. So it's used a lot. Um, you'll see it most often like a cardboard box.
Ah, okay. Future is the brown material. The brown material is called cardboard. Uh huh. Cardboard is the, is, card? is the same thing that box. No. Okay. So the this, box. this, so this thing is called a box. Um, the box is made out of a material called cardboard. So look, this is the material, cardboard. This is it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, does that answer your question? Um, are, you, are you still confused, or does that make sense? Paper ball, I'll Does, can everybody hear me? It sounds like we've had a lot of people either have slow connections or maybe something's going on. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, all right. Any other words? Let's try. Um, Changed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Changed. Okay, let's do this one first. So, repeat this word after me. Changed. 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 So, notice that that's, it's very subtle that's at the end. So, listen one more time. Changed. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Changed. Perfect. Perfect. Uh-huh. Exactly. Um, okay, were there any other words that you guys wanted to practice? Molded. Yeah. Me? Me. Okay, hold on. Vacuum, vacuum. Okay, okay. So first we'll do this one. Shelves. 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 Uh-huh. Then the next one, vacuum. 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 That that word always looks weird to me because it has two U's, um, but yes, that's how it's pronounced. Vacuum. Any other words? Signifier. Mold, molded. Okay, this word, signifier. Signifier. What does it signifier? Mean? It's it means it signifies something, which means it. It uh, means the carton has also become a signifier for what it contains. Meaning, for example, um, w what it's talking about here is it says, the carton has also become a signifier for what it contains. Meaning, whenever you see one of these cartons, you know, oh, that's an egg carton. Egg carton. So the egg carton, carton has become a signifier for eggs. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, were there any other words? I think I heard somebody else say a word. Molded. Oh. oh, molded. Okay. So one, after me, repeat this word. Molded. 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 Perfect. So what does molded mean? Does anybody know? When uh, uh, things take a form, a uh, specific form. Yeah, so molded. So, for example, they took the material and they molded it, probably with a machine, not their hands, and they molded the shape of the egg. So they probably took an egg, and um, when the material was... Um, to get a form... Yeah, yeah. They, 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 when, when the the material was ready to be shaped, then what they did was they took the egg and they pushed it, and then it took the shape of an egg or something like that. Picture as the plasticine that takes a for a few kind of form. Plasticine. The plasticine what? As a. What? Pl 
plasticine. I am not familiar with that word. Um, plasticine. A brand name for a synthetic material used to substitute for... Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's what it's called. Okay, interesting. Plasticine. Okay, cool. So the material, that egg carton, is made out of a material called plasticine. So I, I didn't know that. That's something new for me, too. Um, but if that word sounds difficult or looks, look, looks difficult to pronounce, repeat it after me. Plasticine. 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 Yeah. Good. Okay. So Camila taught us a new word. Thank you, Camila. All right. So we'll move on with the article. Um, so would somebody like to go next and start where it says Hungarian design student? I can May I? Okay. First we'll have who, – who answered first? I answered, but I don't. I don't matter. Okay, Oiten, do you want to go first? Yes. All right. So, can you start where it says Hungarian student, design student? Okay, Hungarian design students, Eva Valicek, however, may have come up with a replacement. Her com her concept for an egg carton of the future. Made of cardboard and a rubber band, was a made of a university comp competition, but has already received some cautious commercial interest. Okay, and then can you read this one and then we'll, uh, yeah. Her redesign came from a challenge set by the Institute of Applied Art at the University of West Hungary. In, in the city of, of Sopron, where she was studying. All right. Perfect. Okay, thank you for reading. Um, what are some words that he can improve on? Replacement. Replacement. Okay, let's, let's all pronounce that word then. Replacement. 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 Good, good, good. Okay. Um, Comer, com co yeah, this word. Okay, so this word's difficult. Um, so, repeat it after me. Commercial. 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 Good, good, good. Commercial. Okay, so the one thing I want to say, <clears throat> so it ends in C-I-A-L. Commercial. So it ends in the C I A L. The C I A L is shul. Commercial. So anytime you see the C I A L. Commercial. Shul. Yes, exactly. Commercial. 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 Mm -hmm. Commercial. I'm trying to think of another example that has shul in it. Um, Potential. Potential. Perfect. But that is that's that's the same pronunciation or same um, pronunciation in a way, but it ends in T I A L. So that word is pronounced potential. So repeat, yeah, potential, potential, artificial, 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 artificial. Sorry. Artificial, yeah. No, you're right. The same thing. So, so if you can learn those patterns, then you're going to improve your pronunciation a lot. So we have commercial, potential, commercial. yeah, potential, potential, and artificial. 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 Yes. Artificial. Yes. Then we also have, um, Oscar just wrote, special. 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 So n you can just pick up patterns there special. by saying, okay, so you have um, special, so it's shul. Special. So if you pick up patterns like that, then when you're reading or Traditional. Learning, another example. Traditional. 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 I spelled Traditional. that right. 
there we go. Sorry, there we go. Traditional, uh huh. Exactly. So you guys can teach yourself some of these patterns, and this will help your pronunciation. Um, can you guys pronounce this? Can everybody pronounce this word for me? I'm gonna write it. Spain. 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 Good. Spain. Good. 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 Okay. The reason I did that was because sometimes speakers, usually that are Spanish or that um, are Hispanic, that speak Spanish, will pronounce words that start with S. They'll add an E in front of it. So when they say it, it sounds like Espain. But you don't want to do that because you don't. That's not how you're supposed to pronounce it. So I think all of you pronounced it correctly. So the correct pronunciation is Spain. Um, I'm trying to think of some other tips. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll go back to uh, the article. Unless does anybody have any other questions about pronunciation? Okay, so no. we'll go back. We'll go back to the. Okay, good. So we'll go back to the article. So you guys are doing great so far. Um, so can somebody read? Uh, I think Pablo wanted to go next, right, Pablo? Are you... Okay, never mind. Pablo's not here. Would somebody like to go next? Me. All right. Um, can you start Me. where it says? Okay, first we'll have the girl. I. That was Luisa, Luisa, Luisa. right? Luisa, okay. So we'll have Luisa first, and then the other person after. So, Luisa, can you start where it says, I looked at existing... I looked at existing egg cartons and found many problems with them, she says. Most importantly, the existing box cannot be adjusted to the size of the eggs. A smaller eggs may turn around in the stand. <clears throat> Good. Okay, can you continue reading, please, the next section? The current Me? egg box... Um, <laughs> okay. No. Me? Oh, Lu oh, Louisa first. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the current egg box protects the eggs, but also keeps them out of sight. <clears throat> when we buy other products, such as fruit and vegetables, we are able to choose exactly which ones we want to buy. Good, 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 good. All right, thank you for reading, Luisa. So what are some words that maybe she could improve on? Importantly. Okay, let's do this one first, cartons. So everybody repeat after me, cartons. Cartons. Good. Okay, the next word, importantly. 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 Good, good, good. All right, the next word. Exist. Adjust. Yeah, we'll do that one first. Existing. 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 Yeah. Existing. Perfect. Existing. Okay. Um, boxes. Box? Boxes. Oh, yeah, boxes. 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 Perfect. Boxes. Adjusted. Oh, yes. Adjusted. Okay, so ready? Adjusted. 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 So y you, kind of, you don't really hear the first D because it sounds like it doesn't exist because you don't really pronounce it. You just pronounce it like this. Adjusted. 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 Perfect. All right. Any other words? Current. Cartons. So it can be Cartons. a Yeah, so it can be a hard T or kind of a soft T. So listen to the two different ways that you can pronounce it. Cartons or cartons. Hmm. Can you guys hear Cartons. the difference? Cartons. So I don't know if there might be a... Um, something different with the way that my mouth moves when I say the word the two different ways so listen to them um, so the first will be the hard T cartons 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 yeah. 
So hard it's a tea. hard tea. Then the next way is a soft tea. It's more like cartons. Cartons? Yeah, kind of like that. Cartons. Cartons. Yeah, so it's you can... Cartons. In the second one, you don't really hear that tea. Can you guys hear the difference? Yes. Yes. So the more common way is the second one. The one, the way that I said it the second time, that's how I normally say it, cartons. So is that the sound? Yeah, I kind of leave out the T. Mute, T mute. What? Is that T mute? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, you can't really hear it. It's kind of silent. Exactly. Um, good. Okay, so the next word, this word right here, able. 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 Yes, just like that. Able. And, and is vegetables? No. Cl no. Cl uh, no. Um, vegetables are the the thing that you eat, like carrots. No, yes, I know. I know what is vegetable, but the pronunciation is vegetables. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> vegetables. You're right. Uh huh. Vegetables. And then this word is able. We're able to choose. We're able to choose. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Vegetables. Vegetables. Good. Okay. Um, so I know somebody asked to go next. I don't remember who it was. Um, Marcelina, I think. Me. I think Me. it was Angel and then Marcelina, right? Or was it Marcelina and... Yes. Angel. Me. Oh, Angel. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Angel, you will go. Um, can you read this section? The open top is one of the most. When it begins? Yeah, right there. Where the it begins? Top. It it begins at the open top is one of the most striking elements. Wait. If you look, if you look, I have it open right now. The, the, the open top is one of the most striking elements of Balisex rethink. As a starting point, I wanted to design a flexible box to fit the different egg size, she says. I made many models of to find the right form. During these exper experiments, I accidentally used a rubber band that was sitting on my table. Then realized that I found the perfect solution. Good, 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 good. Okay, thank you, Angel. So what are some words that he can improve on? The flexible. Yes, good. Okay, so the first, we'll do um, this one right here. So, Angel, you did the thing that I um, was talking to you guys about with the word Spain. You said striking. It was very subtle, but I heard it. So, yeah, just like that. There's no eh. Just say striking. 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 What's, what do you mean? Striking is like... Strike. They catch your attention. So the open top is one of the most striking elements, like one of the best elements, one of the um, best, I think. Striking is like maybe awesome or gorgeous or, or pretty or the best. But can can be a description of a person? You could say, like, like let's say, uh, oops, let's say. Sorry. That's okay. Let's say that um, Angel is wearing a tuxedo and he, he walks over and, he, and he's uh, he's going to go to a dance and he's wearing a tuxedo we could say ah Angel you look striking today or you could say like strikingly handsome strikingly um, like this strikingly handsome I did not mean to open that capture you guys don't need to do that Oops. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> strikingly handsome is good, though. Um, like, oh, that looks strike. You look strikingly handsome in that. That is uh, pretty common. It's used as an adverb there. Strikingly. 
Okay. Um, okay. Question? No. Okay. Um, the next word that I want you guys to pronounce is this word. Flexible. 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 Perfect. Flexible. Flexible. Element. Okay. Um, elements. 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 Good. Accident. Accident. Uh, oh, accidentally. Accidentally. There you go. Accidentally. Perfect. Okay, so one thing I want to point out too is um, Angel did this, and a few other, a few others did this as well. Whenever a word is plural, you have to make sure to pronounce the s, otherwise it sounds like the singular form. So, for example, this word is plural, so we say sizes. 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 Good. Now, no, now, now, listen for um, the difference when I pronounce it in the singular form, which would be size. 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 Good. Size. Good. Size. Size. There you go. Okay. So that's one. So that's one thing you also need to watch out for. When you're when you're um, speaking and you're speaking quickly, which hopefully you guys are trying to do to uh, increase your fluency, is you want to make sure to enunciate um, those those sounds like this. So listen. So listen one more time. Size versus sizes. Size. Sizes. Good. Exactly. Those are the, that's the difference between singular and plural. So another one, I think there was another example. Um, experiments. Experiments. Exactly. Experiment. And notice um, in, in Spanish when you have an X, it kind of sounds like an S sound. Like I think Angel said experiments, but you want to pronounce it like this. X experiments. So experiments. Experiments. Good. Experiments. Yeah. Experiments. Perfect. Notice. So notice how the. Hi guys. Bye, and Louisa. Finally, everybody can hear me. Oh. I was actually disappointed mm -hmm. that night. Hi. What? <laughs> Wait. What happened? Hi, Joe. Hi, Gamzee. How are you? Good, how are you? You seem to be really serious, actually. I'm sorry for, you know. <laughs> That's okay. No, 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 it's fine. I'm just trying to um, emphasize the, the, the things, the common problems that you guys, that, that I see among English learners because there are, there are common things, common mistakes that people make, and I just wanted to point those out so that you guys can improve them on your own. Yeah, great. Can we join that? Can what? Can we can we join that? Join what? Join the conversation. Yes. Oh, yes. Of course. Of course. Yeah. If you'd like to read, you can read next. Um, we only have five minutes left. Um, uh, all right. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so we're gonna go back to the article. So if you would like to read, Gamzi, you can read next. Or did Marcelina? Did you want to read next? Yes. Give me a five minutes, please. Okay. Gamsi, we'll have you. We'll have you read right after Marcelina. Okay. All right. Okay. So Marcelina, can you read where it says the box? Mm -hmm. The box also has to be easy to transport. Balisek designed the carton so it could fold up flat, making it easier to move. Okay. And then the next section. I designed a carton that can be flat packed. I assembled my piece, piece without using any glue. The carton is fixed to base at a one point. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so a few things that that you could work on, Marcelina, um, and that maybe some other people too. So I noticed when you were reading words in the past tense, so words that ended with ed, you said mm -hmm. designed. 
That's not how it's pronounced. It's pronounced like this. Designed. Uh, so that's... Designed. No, 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 no. Designed. No. Designed. So think of it like this. So here, I'm going to sh show you. Okay. So the, the, in the present tense, it's design. Just like that. Mm -hmm. um, so when, you, when it's past tense, you add ed. So um, then it's pronounced like this, designed. Designed. Just like that. Perfect. When you're when you're reading it, you're gonna it's spelled obviously like this, but for your um, for your sake for pronunciation purposes, think of it as being spelled without the e. So then you know that okay, I don't pronounce the e, so I just say designed. Designed. Perfect. I can perfect. find a difference. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no, that's perfect. And so same with this word. So try this word too. Um, packed. Packed. Perfect. So it's spelled like this, but think of it without the e. Packed. Packed. No. Okay. There you Packed. go. There you go. So that's something that you'll just have to work on. Just remember that it's you. It's like a t sound. So you could also do it like that. Packed. Packed. Okay. So that that might be something to help you out. Um. But yeah. Otherwise, good job. Thank you. Uh huh. Um, okay. I think that was it. I think every... Oh, and then this word. Um, using. Using. Yeah, so everybody using. pronounce it after me. Using. 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 Good, good, good. And the reason that I wanted you guys to repeat that word is because, um, Marcelina, it sounded like you said, using. Which is, that's just because your first language is Spanish, and a lot of people mm -hmm. who um, speak Spanish pronounce the, the U-S kind of like that. So just remember it's using. Using. There you go. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, thank you for reading, Marcelina. Next we have Gamsi. Would you like to read still? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's okay. Okay. Um, fix it. Fix it. Fixed. Uh, fits. Go. Like this. Fits. F hold on. Fits. Okay. Fixed. Fits. Oh. Fits. So wait, one more time. One more time. Fixed. Is correct. Fits. No, 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 no. Because it sounds like you're just saying fix. You want to say fixed. Try and make that t sound at the end. Fixed. So try so try it one more time, Marcelina. Fixed. 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 There you go. That, that that right there. You just said it. Fixed. Fit. No, no, no. Don't, don't don't look at the word. Just listen. So close your eyes and listen, and then repeat it after me. Fixed. Fit. Oh. One more time. Fit. One more time. Fixed. Fit. So it's Fit. two. It's like two sounds. Fixed. Fixed. Fit. 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 There you go. There you go. There you go. Fit. Fixed. You're. Yep. Perfect. Fit. Good. Fixed. Mm -hmm. Fixed. Okay. Fit. Good, good, good. Um, and Tolga had a question how to pronounce this word. Though. 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 Not not dough, but look at look at the way that my um my mouth moves. Though. Though. Yeah, so you, your tongue should be in between your teeth. Though. 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 <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Though. It's so anytime... Different. What? What is the what? Though. Difficult, Though? difficult. No. Yeah, it is. Difficult. It is, it is. Though. All the TH words, like <gasps> this, these words. So repeat these after me. This. This. 
This. So stick your tongue in between your teeth. This. 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 Because it sounds this. like a lot of you are saying this. this. Or, um, this. this. But you want to say it like this. 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 Ah, this. So you can tell, because some, listen, so listen to the two different ways um, that I'm pronouncing it. Dist, my tongue is in between my lips, or my, my teeth. Then the, the correct way, over here, this. This. This, okay. Um, Jiva Nildo, you said it, so yeah, so if, if you're having trouble, just look at a camera or look at a mirror and make sure that your tongue so look where it should be like that this 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 good 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 there you go yeah exactly so then let's do the next word three 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 good good good, good. there you go yeah Three. Three. Uh -huh. So all those THs, Three. that sound is made by sticking your tongue in between your teeth. Three. Three. Good, good, Three. good. Three. Okay, um, so I think that brings us to the end of the class, unfortunately. But hopefully this has been beneficial to you guys in improving your pronunciation. And if you have any questions... Um, that you like to ask me after class, you can message me on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Joe Verbling, and I can answer any questions for you. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for coming, thank you for reading and participating, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Thanks. Bye.